Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching this week. I uh, just want to talk a little bit about some things that's uh, going on here in town, here in Waukee. So, uh, you know, I'm sure everybody's well aware that uh, earlier in the week on uh, Monday evening that uh, Eric Serber, our library director, gave an update. Um, during that update, he had mentioned about uh, Hiram Worry that uh, had passed away, and uh, in his will, he left the city $500,000 to $700,000 uh, to go towards the library. And, of course, you know, his will for that money was to go towards the meeting room and then also to go towards the Schuler Mine Museum um, and doing that in the name of his parents. And boy, what a wonderful gift um, for somebody to do something like that, especially to do that um, honoring their parents and, and honoring, you know, their history and, and what they did in Waukee. You know, that, that's so great because, you know, libraries is an area where, you know, you want to keep historical artifacts and where you, you don't want to forget the past and you never want to forget where you came from. You know, with Waukee being one of the last mining towns in the state of Iowa, Gosh, what a wonderful thing, and, and what a great gift, and, and Mr. Worry, I, I know the Lord is blessing you, and I know you're with him right now, and I can tell you that's something that's going to be greatly, greatly appreciated by the citizens of Waukee for years and years and years to come, so uh, thank you for that. Um, also, I want to talk about uh, the stoplights um, on 6th and Hickman. So if you're on 6th and Hickman, or you're going down Hickman Road, you're going to notice on 6th Street there's some stoplights going up, and I know the people at Northway uh, Well and Pump um, are greatly appreciated of this. Uh, I was talking to them here about two, three months ago. Uh, they had some concerns on traffic, and, of course, they got a lot of trucks coming in and out of there. And, uh, you know, it's uncontrolled coming out, and Hickman gets busy. So it's great to see those stoplights are going to be going up. Um, this week they will be activated, I believe, either Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. I think the scheduled date is Tuesday, 10 a.m. Um, so... Good news there. Also, Halloween, uh, trick or treat, beggars night. Here we go. So Friday night, Saturday night, you can go to Centennial Park uh, to the covered shelter, which is going to be on the south side of Centennial Park, and it's the southwest side of Centennial Park, I should say. It's right over by St. Boniface Church, um, and then shoot, uh, Shady Vineyard, right over there. Uh, so if you want to go there and get a good scare, uh, that'll be Friday, Saturday night from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock, uh, no cost, of course, so just go in and have a good time and, uh, you know, get scared. And then also on Sunday is beggar's night, so from 6 to 8, uh, go out and go trick-or-treating. Uh, make sure you keep yourself safe, um, you know, have a glow stick, have a light stick when the kids are out there, and uh, have fun and go door-to-door -door and knock, 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 and get plenty of Tootsie Rolls and stay up late at night because you ate so much candy, you can't even help it. So that's just how Halloween is. Um, also, we've got a couple stores. Jimmy John's is now open across from uh, the YMCA. We also have Sears that is being put in now, which is over by uh, City Hall. So that's very exciting. There's going to be a lot of appliances and electrical there. So um, really cool to see a Sears come into Waukee because... Currently, um, I think the only closest Sears right now is over by Merle Hay, so that'll be nice. That'll bring a lot of people over to this side of uh, Waukee and, and, and bring them into town. So uh, there's some updates, some things that are going on next week. i um, not sure what I'm going to talk about yet. Give me some ideas. I was thinking about, uh, you know, doing some more political stuff and talk a little bit about uh, President Obama. And, of course, you know, with me being the uh, conservative I am, you know where my opinions are going to lie. Um, so... Um, otherwise, if you've got other things you want me to talk about or you've got questions, you know, comment, let me know, give me a call, email, whatever. You know, it's technology. You can do all kinds of stuff. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching. Until next week, make it a big day. We'll see you. Bye.